Now let us write another algorithm uh, to increment the salary of an employee by 1000 rupees. Say for example an employee is drawing 10,000 rupees salary. It should become 11,000 rupees because we are giving increment of 1000 rupees. It should become 11,000 rupees. So how can you write the algorithm? See our aim is to write an algorithm or logic to increment salary by 1000 rupees. Whenever you are writing an algorithm, step number one is you can write start and in the last step you will write stop or end. So our step number one is start and next in the second step you take the present salary of the employee. So what is the present salary currently? How much salary is taking that I want to store in a variable by the name sal. Say for example sal is a variable there is a present salary I am storing that is 10,000 I am storing. Now our aim is to increase this salary by 1000 rupees that means 10,000 must become 11,000. So after giving incrementation of 1000 he should receive 11,000 instead of 10,000. So how can you increase this salary by 1000 rupees? So this is the way. Now you are having a cell variable. Cell is called variable. Variable means memory. In this memory you have stored 10,000. So cell variable value is 10,000 plus you want to add 1000 rupees. After adding 1000 rupees to this cell variable, again you have to store this updated salary into cell variable. So please remember this step is very important. Sal is equal to sal plus 1000. This is very important. Why? Because after adding 1000, you have to store that updated salary. That is 11,000 rupees you have to store into this sal variable. If you don't store 11,000 into this sal variable, now this then this sal variable will not be incremented. Please remember, it will show old value of 10,000 only. If you don't this, uh, if you don't store this updated salary that is 11,000 into this sal variable again, then what happens means previous value of 10,000 only it will have. That is the problem. So you have to store that value into sal variable. Then in the next step, you print the updated salary. Updated salary or incremented salary is displayed here. So print sal means this will display 11,000. And in the last step, I can close my algorithm by writing a stop. So please remember, uh, in the place of start, we can also use in the in the place of this start we can also use begin this is another word we can use begin similarly in the place of in the place of stop here i can also use end another word end also we can use that means while writing uh, algorithms, we can use uh, brief English words to represent the, the actions we are doing. Similarly, uh, yes, so uh, in the place of print, in the place of print, we can also use uh, display or output. So display or output. So these words also we can use. Okay, fine. Now we want to convert this algorithm into Python program. 
So let us open Python guy IDLE. So here I want to write our uh, program. So here I am not writing algorithm. So I am not putting this uh, word. It is a program. Uh, to program to increment program to increment salary by 1000 rupees now first step is a start the first step start and the last step stop need not be written in the program because the processor will automatically process your statements and uh, once the program execution completed, it automatically stops. So you need not write the first and the last steps. You can start from second step. So the salary of the employee is 10,000. So this is the salary. This is the original salary of the employee. Now we are supposed to increment this salary by 1000 rupees. So to sell variable, you have to add thousand and the result whatever the incremented salary that is 11,000 is there that again you have to store into sal variable be careful here uh, some students will not store that into again sal variable if you do not store this 11,000 into this sal then uh, what happens means previous value of sal that is 10,000 only it will show you but here we want a sal variable value 11,000 so you have to store upgraded value into this cell. Now print the salary value. That means print cell. That is incremented cell value I am displaying. So this is our program, Python program to increment the given salary by 1000 rupees. After writing the program, you have to save the program. Uh, click on file, save. And that means I saved the program by the name x.py already. And then you have to run the program. So run, run module or alternately you can press F5 also. So run, run module. So click there. Uh, it is showing me now incremented salary 11,000. Okay, if I want to display incremented salary is equal to 11,000. More clearly like that I want to display. So what is the way? You can write here print in the print function you can write that uh, string also like this incremented salary is equal to comma see in python whatever you want to display that you can write in the print function see here i am writing incremented salary so this is one string string means group of characters Always you have to write group of characters. You have to enclose inside uh, single quotes or double quotes. So here I am using single quote. Incremented salary is equal to one space and a single quote. So this string is displayed as it is. Comma. After that I want to display sal variable value. Now once again let me save this code. Because whenever you are making modification to your program, you have to save it. Then run the program, run, run module. Now uh, the output is more clear. Incremented salary is equal to 11,000. This is uh, more clear now. So this is an algorithm to increase or if you want to give increment to any employee. So this is a logical uh, that you have to follow.